Okay, so All I've right. got the controls, got the temperature. So we're all on, <clears throat> mixture is in. So we're ready to go ahead and start. So get your left hand on the throttle, roll in the detent. Oh, detent. Go. One, one, two, two, three. three. Clear! Another reason why we keep the governor off, but... Yeah, Boeing Tower Helicopter 7, 447 Romeo Charlie's at the Needle uh, Stadium arrival with Tango. Helicopter 447 Romeo Charlie, Boeing Tower Stadium arrival approved. And stadium approved, Romeo Charlie. So if you were to uh, totally ignore and just haul up on the collective would you get like all the way up to 30 inches or pretty close to it uh you see like once we're up in like normal flight and stuff and then just pull up as hard as you can or even on the ground uh well i mean on the ground we'd pull you talking about with the rpms this low the, uh manifold pressure sorry well right but i mean you're talking about the rpms here or all the way up at flight idle at uh, flight idle if we're up at flight idle and we pull Pitch all the way up. We're gonna we're gonna go straight up. Yeah, no, I know, but I mean, would you uh, would the engine happily let you go way past the MCP? Um, way past? I don't know. I don't know how far past it would let you go. It definitely would let you go past. Yeah. Like it's not like you get to 26 and up. That's all I got. But it, it's probably not too much past there. Like I don't, I don't think we'd be able to get up to 35. I'm not really sure why it shows that. I mean, well, maybe. I mean, one atmosphere is 30. Yeah. Give or take. So. Right. This is a 517, contact ground point nine. Contact ground point nine. That's all you have with the pipeline. All right. We're good on temperature. Going to your bank checks. All right. One, two, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Two. Make that one one thousand, two one thousand a little bit quicker. And also, you should be doing that with your right hand and left hand should be on throttle. Yep. Clear to win. One thousand. Looking for traffic. And there we go. All right, roll. Up to 80, do your, do your, uh, check your sprag clutch. That traffic is tight, so we're on control there. There we go. All right, let's get frictions off. I'm really a Charlie, we're going to cut straight in for that. Get out of the yellow there. Okay. Helicopter 7, Romeo Charlie, straight in approved, and you'll be passing east of the Cessna. 
All right, we used to assess that straight over. That's something on the Charlie. Yeah. Be real careful, but that's why I have the governor on. Right. Otherwise, it would. Yeah. If you let it creep like that, and you're doing other shit, you don't have the governor on. Right okay, we're going to turn the governor on. Move that a little bit forward. Get that right in the neutral. Yep, governor on. Go ahead. Frictions are both off. Frictions are both off. All right. Go ahead and roll us on up. All right. Boeing Tower, Cherokee 1746, Tango, holding short of runway 31, right for a BFR departure to the southeast. A little higher up, a little, a little more roll. Cherokee 1746, Tango, Boeing Tower, runway 31, right All for the takeoff. I think he said southeast, or right down when departure is approved. All right, we got Tango. Okay, so we're going to be we're going to be heading out north. Now we've got Romeo Charlie coming right in at us. The wind is calm. If you would like to cross runway three on right and go opposite direction on the yeah. big runway that so, is available. So what I would say, yeah, we'd actually like that. Uh, we're going to cross uh, three one right to go over to uh, one three right. Boeing Tower helicopter seven one nine or eight. Thank you for Tango runway one three right. Alpha eight. Clear for takeoff. Radio departure with Tango. We have company traffic in sight. With Tango, we have company traffic in sight. Of course, it can't. Boeing Tower, helicopter 7198, Juliet, H&W ramp, uh, Rainier departure with Tango, and we have company traffic in sight. Helicopter 7198, Juliet, wind calm, would you like to go opposite direction? Uh, no, that's fine. Helicopter coming on, Angela. Roger, Rainier departure approved, pad 5 clear for takeoff. Alright. Come back, 7198 Juliet, pad 5 clear. 98 Juliet, pad 5 approved. There we go, alright. So let's pick her on up, so we're going to need some left. You got that far to the right there. Left. So coming up slow. Alright, we're about light on the skids there, just about. All right, there's light on the skids, neutralize all that, and then keep coming up. <laughs> there we go. Very cool. All right, so we're gonna go up and out over the far side of Clay Lacey, where they're building that building over there. Yeah. All right, there's about 45, so there's a little bit of aft cyclic. Get okay. ourselves in trim here. Up we go. And now we're going to cut right over this way. Got a good climb rate going. Yep, 500 foot a minute. So we should clear all of the nasty stuff here. And there we go. So keep us moving down the freeway here. <clears throat> all right, Cyclic is yours. All right. Got it? Get our car heat adjusted here. All right, take us to Auburn, sir. On the way. So don't climb too much more. Don't climb really any more than this. We usually should stay about 300 along here, and then once we get to the wires, we'll pop up to five. But right now, we're okay. I don't see anybody else coming through or anything, so just don't don't let us get any higher than five. And All then right. once we get past the wires, then we can start climbing for about seven to pop up over that little hill. Oil pressure, oil temp, fuel, lights are out, everything's looking good, car paint's adjusted. Beautiful day for some flying. Perfect day for it. Especially with the mountain right in front of us. Yeah, exactly. One thing I need to notice, or that I have noticed, so when I hold the um, cyclic with my fingertips. So get, get back over this way. Stay right over the freeway. Five at the wires. And then once we, as we after we pass the wires, then you can start climbing for seven to pass to, to bump up over that hill. 
Yeah. Sorry, what were we saying about your fingertips? Well. So in order to, uh, it's like my wrist has a certain range of motion. Sure. And I thought, I figured, okay, hand in my lap and I can do everything. Eh, not quite. I have to, depending upon what we're doing, like if we're hovering, I have to pull my hand back to get within the range of motion of my wrist. But to figure out where neutral is, right? Yeah, figure out where neutral is. And which, which makes sense, because when we're hovering, we're, we're, not, we're not trying to have any forward motion, right? Yeah. And when we're in forward play, we are, so obviously you gotta, you know, you got to hold it forward. So that makes sense, right? So different, different positions that you kind of have to pin your hand for forward play versus, versus hovering. We'll kind of pop us down over there, follow the railroad tracks over. So weird flying with the door off. It's just there's no there's no barrier in between you. There's no there's no plexiglass. It's just there it is. Ugh, there's that rendering fucking plant smell. God, that shit is so awful. Yeah. Nope, wrong button, wrong button. There you go. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 719 or 8 Juliet, southbound, crossing I-405, 650 feet, Long Acres. Stay on the right side of the wires. Good morning, citation of number 28 Mike Hotel, 430. Fuck. Why is there a citation on this channel? There definitely ain't no jets flying through here. Yeah, isn't isn't Long Acres uh, pretty much just for helicopters? Direct anchor to be fine for us to my hotel. Thank you. Yeah, it's just it's usually just for helicopters because nobody else flies through here. Roger, thanks for that my hotel. Pretty discreet frequency, like it's not, it's not uh, like it's a direct jet for uh, Jay Mike Hotel. Huh. Well, clearly somebody uses it somewhere else, but I don't know where. Definitely not here. Like, there's definitely not a citation flying through this area. But that's weird though, I've never heard other traffic for other places on this frequency. You know, when you're on like 122.9 or something like that, like that's common every fucking where. Yeah. So you'll hear people for, you know, all over the place, but on Long Acres, I've never heard that. Okay, give me a speed altitude combo you want me to change to. All right, keep it at, actually, you know what? So I want you to speed up to 80 and climb to 700. Actually make it 800. Let's see if we can pull that today. Uh, all right, maybe not, watch your power, watch your power. Yeah. Let's make it 700, climb to 700, speed up to 80. There we go. Nice. Nicely done. All right. Bring us down to 500 and slow to 70. Go right pedal. Also remember when you're scanning, remember not to fixate. Remember not to omit anything. And don't emphasize anyone. Keep your scan going through all of them, including your trim strings and including outside. Got 
Got her 70, was still looking for that 500. It was good, you started to pull in the power early so we didn't blow past it, but it was just a little bit too a much. A little bit too much. And we just leveled off, not quite there. Which is okay, you can just kind of milk that in and get another, you know, couple hundred foot a minute descent rate and just bring that right in real slow and slow and smooth. Losing your speed there. Sorry. I had to, I was, yeah, radio. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so level us off at five, don't let us get any lower. Auburn traffic helicopter 71908 Juliet, uh, four miles to the north, inbound for landing. Transit, we've got a banner two, about two miles to the south transitioning from uh, south to north along the uh, river. Okay, so we are... So what did he just say? Uh, missed him. He said he was transitioning south to north along the railroad tracks. So basically he's coming right at us he's and he's along right the railroad us. tracks. So do we want to go... No, he didn't really say where he was. Oh, he said two miles to the south. Two miles to the south. So he's just a little bit down that way. He's probably going to be higher, however. He's probably going to be higher, but we still want to look out for him. We still need to look out for him. I thought he was going to say transition along I-5, because usually what people will do if they're just transitioning through this route, but he said the railroad tracks. And he didn't say east tracks, west tracks. He just said the railroad tracks. So I'm pretty sure I got him out there. And he's actually not that much higher than us. He is to, to the east of us. So should we scooch a little to the uh, to the west? Um, I would stay right where we are. Do you have them in sight? Open area traffic. Sky three's got a banner two, about a mile to the south, uh, transitioning from south to north. So he's right there in the sight. See him, and you can see his banner. Kind of right out. Look at the mountains, and then the little puffs oh, of yeah, cloud. Yeah, he's I right above him. him. I got him. Okay. But yeah. Benator, uh, we got you in sight. We're about uh, two to the north. Uh, we're going to be inbound for landing at Auburn, but we'll be uh, should be no factor for you. Okay, I'll be looking for him at a thousand feet. Uh, this is all the track north. Roger, yeah, we are to the west of the airport. We're about 600 feet. Okay. Hey, Benator, uh, so it's going to be three, four, unless we notice otherwise. Yeah, I would. It's pretty calm. There's nothing going on with yeah, that flag right there. The, team, the number is 3-4 uh, on the west side. Uh, head, uh, over the railroad tracks from uh, north. Correction from south to north. Uh, 1,000 feet in Auburn. Okay, we're going for it. All right, so right here I would call entering left downwind for 3-4. Auburn traffic helicopter 71908 Juliet entering left downwind for 34 Auburn. Okay, so in the pattern, we want to be six is our uh, 70 and six is our targets, right? Yep. Okay. 70 and 600. Plumbers Union Historic No Hiring Union Local Really? That's the banner that he's on? Plumbers Union Hiring You want to be a plumber? They're hiring Well, I've done a lot of plumbing But Yeah? Uh, All that traffic That's uh, the uh, tail draggers on the 45 point upwind For left traffic for runway okay. 3 4 Auburn. I'm assuming that's that guy. He didn't say what side he was on. He just said he's on the 45 for an upwind. So I'm assuming that's that guy right there. I don't see anybody else around. So you should be clear. Okay. You got start uh, making our turn. Yep. So go on. So actually, start make remember to make your descent first. So remember, it's like the sending left turn. So we want yep. We want to lower right pedal, eyes out front, and then we start our turn to the left. Okay. I, start, your, I started turning while I was descending. We were actually climbing. Oh. We had about a 400 foot a minute climb rate. Oh, 
Adjusted, we're ready to rock. Okay, so over a little bit. Okay. Alright, so get us a little little further to the left, right over center line. Remember to Use your peripheral to see that, kind of still keep your eyes down the runway and keep it just right in that middle third of the of the section of the bubble here. Take us right down the wire to it. This is looking really good. Just continue this in. Remember, we're going to have to start pulling some power here real soon. Keep slowing down. All right, you're right about here. Yep. So don't pull too much in. We're still coming down. We're going to be a little long. That's okay. That's okay. A little bit. There we go. Keep coming down right now. So we start pulling, start pulling, pulling, pulling. Keep us moving forward. Albert Air Traffic, Traffic has got a man or two about two miles to the north of the first ramp, three, four. Transitioning from the All right. Albert. All right, I'm going to go do that one more time. That looked good, man. That looked good. I kind of helped out there just for a second, and that was it. That was pretty much all you otherwise. So that looked good. Let's do that one more time. <coughs> I don't want to touch the controls. <coughs> And I'll make sure that you don't have to. All right, I like it. Yeah, there's so there's so little wind down here. We got two hawks sitting on the on the uh, windsock there. So <laughs> so this is a perfect day for some flying. Start your crosswind here. Just remember, don't cut the corner of the horse track or the horse uh, stables because they're definitely yeah in there today. We got a thousand foot a minute climb rate going on, and we're doing 50 knots. Okay, 600. Woohoo! That's what I was doing in the, in the chair. <laughs> Good. So we're a little. Up. So if you just speed us up a little bit, speed us up you a should be bit. able to. Yeah, should be able to get us to uh, 600. Clear right, clear center, clear left. Auburn traffic helicopter nine or eight Juliet turning left downwind three four Auburn. Okay, uh, lights out one oh four. Three in the green. And Albert Air Traffic Sky 3's got a banner two, about three miles to the north of the port tram. Uh, three, four, orbit. So what happened there? Camped at uh, 1,000 feet. Through that turn, you slowed way down to about 50, and that I, brought us up to almost 800 feet. I pulled, uh, yeah, I pulled the cyclic back. Yep. Well, so you're going to be super, turning. super conscious in the turns of not pulling back or forward. Try to make yeah. sure that you keep an even pitch through the through the turns. Use your use your screw, line it up with your horizon, make sure we're not pitching up or down. Yeah. Go through that turn. Okay, the screw's staying level. I know my pitch attitude is good. I'm not gonna speed up or slow down. Alright, so uh, still go a little bit further, we'll extend this just a little bit, but uh, just remember lower and right once we start descending, then we'll start our left turn. Start your turn, going lower and right. Lower and right. There we go. Now start your left. <clears throat> All right. 
Clear, make your base call. Auburn traffic, helicopter 9 or 8 Juliet, uh, left base, 3 4, Auburn. Yeah, you're pulling up. See how this gear's going up above the horizon? So keep your eyes on that when you go through your turns. That'll help you not pitch up or pitch forward. <clears throat> Auburn traffic, helicopter 9 or 8, Juliet. Uh, final 3-4, Auburn. Okay. Want to arrest this descent. Yep. Don't go any lower. So 50 knots, hold that until we hit field boundary and then start slowing down. 50 knots and 400 is good. Got to get well lined up. All right, backing off the speed a little bit. Yeah, so I sped up a little bit there. That's okay. Slow it, slow it down. So start coming down. You're speeding back up there, so you're pitching forward. So I, I can tell what you're doing is you're staring at the windsock and you're diving for it. Keep your eye on your screw. Use your peripheral to see that. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Still up at 50 knots, 45. So don't worry about the windsock. Just make a nice, smooth approach. Take me to those red boxes on the runway, but take me to take me there. Pull some power, pull some power, pull some power. Hopper there, traffic goes slow down, down got slow down. Go about three miles from north, we'll bring it around down to oh. and 1,000 feet, Hopper. Let's get us. Kind of extend this out, take this forward a little. All right, so I get the controls real quick. Okay. Armor traffic, helicopter 7198, Juliet, clear, reactive at Foxtrot. Alright, so I want you to, let's see, let's do it this way. I want you to stay on the controls with me here in a second. Okay. And I'm just going to make a normal approach down to the blast pad down there. So I'm going to do a max P just to get us up in the air. Alright. About all we got for the day. If I can get us up a little higher, if I can milk this a little bit. There we go. Alright, so a normal approach to that. So go ahead and stay on the controls with me. So, we're a little slow here. So I feel like I'm kind of kind of milking it up and down, but I'm staying steady. Like, I'm not sinking. I'm just coming down a straight line. So I kind of got to milk it. Like, I still want a little forward pressure, but I want to slow down at the same time, right? I still want to keep some, but I don't want to stop. Yep. So I'm kind of a little bit forward, a little bit back. Now I'm pulling power, pulling power. Right now I feel I'm leveling, so I can let down a little bit more power again, and then pull some in so I don't sink. So there's, there's kind of a back and forth. It's not There's nothing prescriptive where it's, okay, only, only go one direction. For the most part, once you get down low, you are only pulling power in, but there's still a little bit of... Um, a lower, you know, so maybe I pulled in a little bit too much and I got to lower back down just a little bit so I keep my like 100 foot, you know, descent rate. Yeah, and I need to emphasize to myself that it still isn't set and forget. And nothing is set and forget never, in the helicopter. Never, never, never set and forget. Never. All right, let's, uh, I mean, the wind's kind of doing, uh, it's coming a little out of the south, so why don't we, why don't we face the yellow sign and let's do, so go ahead and do just cyclic to start, just knock some rust off. Oh, right, you got it? Got it.
All right, sweet. That's looking good. All right, so now I got the cyclic. Okay. I want you to do just the pedals. I'm gonna follow this yellow line. I want you to keep the nose, this metal metal bar in the middle of our bubble. I want you to keep right that on right, right on the yellow line the whole time. All right, pedals are all you. Now this one is, is tough to, because if I really want to do this right, I have to keep what's in front of me in peripheral vision. So you want to look out about 50 to 70 feet yeah. and use, the, use your peripheral vision to keep the line in sight. I mean the line is, you know, you're looking straight down the line, just don't look straight down here, look out that way. more left. Get that nose right down the yellow line. So for just a second, keep your feet on the pedals, but leave them kind of light, and just feel what I do here. So feel how there's kind of like, I don't know if you can feel that enough, it'll come through the pedal, but there's just much smaller movements much, than I'm doing. And, yeah, and I'm kind of going back and forth a little bit. Yep. So we'll go this way. So just a little bit of, of back and forth, and then over here, okay, I kinda need some more left, so now I got that. Traffic feel like, like that right there, yeah, but just, two, two, three, just three, the tiniest here, bit uh, of a back and forth, of a left, right, left, right, just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't always need that, but sometimes uh, if you got a little bit of wind or just in general, that helps to kinda keep you straight. Just a little bit of a back and forth, back and forth. Can you feel that? Is that coming through? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so pedals are all you again. Okay. Looking better. You still have a, you have a tendency to not have enough left in there. Yeah, well, because the, the helicopter wants to yaw right. to the right. Which means you need and more so of that pedal to counteract My that. brain is thinking, well, one pedal's the same as the other, but it's not. They're not. They're not at all the same. You're not, yeah, it's not right thrust and left thrust. It's the tail rotor itself is producing thrust to the right, which makes the helicopter want to yaw right. Or sorry. It's yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's producing thrust out that to way. Make it yaw to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So when you push in left pedal, you're getting more thrust. Palmer near traffic RV three pop here at midfield 1,600 transitioning to uh, maneuver for the 45 to land three four Auburn. So yeah, it's when you're when you're pushing left pedal, you're producing more thrust, which is the tail rotor to the right, which means the front wants to yaw left. That's that's what it is. I said it yeah. backwards. Well, one time Travis had me do uh, say take your take your right foot off. Yep. And Dude. had me do just your left foot. Left and right pedal turns with just the left pedal. Yep. Yeah, you 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 get to to actually feel how the interplay between right and left works. And really, it's it's mostly, it's pushing left and letting off to the right. There's not a whole lot of, you don't really ever have to push yeah. hard on the right. Well, the only thing with the with the right uh, is, uh, if you want to get there quicker, you push the right. Uh, uh, traffic, RV, three you pop can do it, it, on the two The helicopter, helicopter will spin quicker to the right, that is absolutely true. I mean, you can get there just as quick either way, but the helicopter will get out of control to the right very easy as well. Yeah. Well, I guess what I'm saying is if you want to, if you want to do a pedal turn to the right, you can let off on the left pedal. Yes. If you want to make that turn happen a little quicker, then you, you give a little bit of right pedal pressure. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, absolutely. 
Otherwise, why have a right pedal? All right, so we're gonna go to the left here. And then we're gonna Last start turn. to the right. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go up around that loop. The car V3 pops here, uh, turning downwind, 3-4 Auburn. All right, so through this turn, it's real tight, so you gotta keep us right over the yellow line. All right. What's your intention there, 99 Julia? Uh, oh, hey, I got you. We'll be out of your way. We're staying here on the blast pad. Oh, that's where I'm headed to run, do my run up. You want to just go over there? Fucking faggot. Thank you. Fuck you. Auburn air traffic, RB3 pops here, turning base, 3 4 Auburn. Alright, uh, so let's do. Uh, let's see, the sign that says apron. That's what we're picking. All right, so now, all three. You ready? It's cycle it, collective, and pedals, all you. Stay away from the planes. Auburn here, traffic, RV3 pops here, turning final, 3-4, Auburn. Oh, got a... Oh, come on, asshole. Oh, he's gonna go around the loop there. Not quite yet, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Auburn area traffic, red, plus and tail dagger departing 3-4, moving on overhead, left turn up, eastbound. Relax. Let your body do what your mind wants it to do. Instead of thinking, ooh, up collective, down collective, just let your, let your, let your body do what your mind wants. Your mind wants to point that way and hover over one spot on the ground, right? So, don't try to, think about every single thing you need to do, just just let your body do it. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to stay here. Auburn, so just fucking do it, body. Yeah, clear runway 3-4, Auburn. How much better that is? Excuse me. How much better Auburn, that traffic, is. Mooney 53 Victor departing runway 34 to the east, Hover. Why haven't you why, why haven't you been doing this the whole time? I don't know, but I'm liking this. I'm gonna get out real quick. You got this. <laughs> Uh, we're close enough you could just sort of hop uh, out. I can jump. I'll tuck and roll. Tuck uh, and roll, man. Tuck and roll. Right, bring us a little forward here. We got a fence back there behind us. And a, and a guy trying to paint. <laughs> we're blowing his board oh, all over. <laughs> Look real quick. That guy with the board sitting on the thing. We're, we're blowing his board off. Uh-oh. <laughs> what you get, sucker? <clears throat> A little high, a little high on power. All right, so don't start thinking on me. Yeah, I know. Focus on your sign out there and keep us where we want to be.
Okay, hold on. Let me uh, go down this way a little bit again. Watch your power setting there. All right. So get your neutral. Find your neutral. Auburn air traffic. Three three relax, three, got find your zip. Three miles to the north. Uh, transitioning from north to south along 167. Auburn. And what are you looking at? Auburn traffic. Uh, looking at the side. Mike taking runway 34. Left traffic, uh, we're southbound, we'll, uh, we'll uh, keep an eye out for the banner. Go ahead and bring me up over there. I'm going to pop up over this little grass here and bring me over there. Uh, I'll get another asshole coming down this way, or is he... You know what, I really don't give a fuck. Go over there. Keep me in the middle here, bring me down. Oh. Ah, it's doing so good. A really high power setting there real quick, so you gotta, gotta keep an eye on that. Yeah. All right, so use the windsock. Got it? Traffic Mooney 9656 Mike, left crosswind 34, we'll keep it tight. Robert. I got you inside, I'll just uh, stay right over here, the top of uh, one. Alright, so, uh, I gotta stay on with me. Okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some pickup set downs here, so. Make sure we're not too close there. Alright, right about there is good. Alright, so right here. We're going to do a set down. So I'm going to kind of help you out just a little bit, just to help stabilize. Stay on all three controls. Yep, and so we we're stabilized hover right here. So nice just go ahead. Stabilize. Yep, so and slowly then. just start. Them. All you on the collective, all you. Take us all the way down to the ground. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. All right, not bad, not bad. I should have committed a little bit sooner. Little, well. As soon as I hear felt that first bump. Yeah. Yeah, Not agreed. Slam it down, but just but keep, keep yeah, keep going. going all the way down. All right, so we're gonna pick it back on up. So same thing, get us light on the skids and neutralize all movement, and then pick us up. Crest area traffic, RV November two two three to pop the Sierra departing three four Auburn. Harbor traffic, Moody 5-3 Victor is 2 to the southeast at 1,900. I'm going to head uh, westbound right over Highway 18 and over Federal Way at 1,700, Auburn. Auburn air traffic, Crest 3's got a banner too about mid Alright, there were lights, so that's, that's pedal. So neutralize that with your pedals. South, correction north to south. Auburn. There we go. Alright, we're neutral, so pick us on up, stop that slide. That's all cyclic right there, so hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, let's come back down. Okay. So if we start doing this... That's cyclic. That's cyclic. Oop, went a little too much there. I don't want to bang up the helicopter. See if we can get it to happen this way. But yeah, that's cyclic, so I want to just, I want to get a little bit of that. Hover traffic, RV3, pop it here, turning cross, point three four, Auburn. There we go, a little slide like that, so stop that. There you go. All right, now we're neutral, so now go ahead and pick us up, and you'll have to just adjust cyclic as we, there we go. All right, so we got a little left swing there, so you just needed a little bit, a little bit more right cyclic as we started to pick up. We'll keep it this way. Harvard area traffic, go ahead and bring us down to the ground again. Downwind. Get us all, all movement neutralized. 
Get us neutral. Harbor air traffic, Sky 3 is uh, turning out from 167 to the west, Harbor. So that's why it's important to neutralize all that sideways motion, because if we're sliding to the side when we land, that's no good. If we catch somewhere in a roll. Harbor air traffic, RV3 pop here, uh, turning. All right. But I did commit a little faster. See, that's, that's good. You don't want to necessarily be fast, correct. you want it to be smooth. Smooth, yeah. Okay. All right, so get us light, we neutralize go. any movement. All right, so that's that's pedal, a little, little bit of cyclic. So net, last time we picked up, you uh, we started sliding to the left, right? So you're gonna need to pick up and then we might need a little bit of right cyclic to keep that from happening. So go ahead and pick up. There you go. So it's just whatever you feel, it's just like hovering, right? If you start to feel us move in one direction on the pickup, neutralize that kick, get it, get us moving back the other direction. Or I should say correct to the other direction so that we stop moving. Alright, so one more again. Let's get us neutralized right here. Alright, bring us bring us all the way down. And a little bit of forward and left is okay. A little bit of forward movement on the landing is okay. Backward movement, sideward movement, not okay. Yeah, because forward, it'd be like a run on landing. Exactly. You can always do like a mini run on landing and that's not a problem. Yeah, see that? That backward, that we don't want. We'll catch the back of the skids and that's no good. Slap that main rotor down to the tail boom and chop it the fuck off. That would be bad. Yeah. So this, as long as we're moving forward, we can bring down. Sideways, not so much. Okay. All right, so here, let's, uh, let's neutralize all that movement. Get right there. All right, bring us on down. Nice, nice. That's what we're looking for on collectives. I want you. I want to do a few more of these. I want you to keep getting practice at this. Still need a little bit of work on on the you know the, the hovering to get that all the way perfectly still and neutralized. Oh. But we're we're getting there. This is this is kind of the other end of it now, right? So you got to be smooth on the collective. If I could duplicate what I did back there every day, that'd yep. be nice. Yep. All right. How are we doing for? Uh we're good on time, good on fuel. Good on time, good on fuel. All right. Cyclic, left cyclic. Hey, not bad. That was all you too. I didn't do anything on that. We spun a little bit as we picked up, so you needed a little bit more left pedal there, but otherwise that was all you. Okay. Wanna do another one? Yeah. Get up, get that all neutralized. So you kind of, <laughs> we were stirring the pot a little bit and you kind of you kind of caught it on the forward and stuck it in, which is safe. That's good, it's, but... It's safe, but it's just not, yeah, we want to be all the way motion neutralized. That's something you can rely on because you couldn't catch it on the... You're right, if you catch it on the backwards, that's no good. All right, that last pickup, like I said, was all you. The only thing, really, I had a critique on that was you needed four left pedal. We kind of picked up and, and spun to the right. Why is that? Because we're pulling pitch, the helicopter wants the yaw right. So you just need more left pedal on that one. Basically, and don't even think about more left pedal, think about keeping the nose straight. 
Keep yeah. your eyes out in the distance. Keep the nose pointed where it is right now. We're sliding. Neutralize that with cyclic. Hey, not bad. That was all you. 100%. Cool. Yeah, not bad. I like it. All right. I don't see or hear anybody, so take me out to the runway and uh, let's go do let's go do a pattern. All right. <clears throat> I can't remember. Have you done quick stops? Have we done that? Um, I think I've done like one. All right, so stay on with me. Take take me on. Actually, yeah, you you take the control. You stay on. Bring me out to the runway. Okay. Armor traffic helicopter nine eight Julia taking the active three four left close traffic over. <clears throat> All right, so do a normal takeoff when we get out here, and then we're gonna level off at forty feet and forty knots. forward just a little bit keep us over the center line level us don't let us climb here we don't want to climb keep us moving forward little right pedal keep us moving forward moving forward all right now level us off at 40 feet and 40 knots 40 feet is we'll just call it 100 boom 40 knots all right so get get us right down the runway right pedal Really work on those pedals. Get those right there. All right, so just stay on with me. We're gonna do a quick stop. Yep. So in three, two, one, we're gonna come aft cyclic, lower collective, right pedal. And then as we start to settle, up collective, left pedal, forward cyclic. And then we're gonna just ride this all the way down like a steep approach. We're right, in, right on those vibrations of ETL, right? So we're not, we haven't lost it all the way. We're right on the edge of it and we ride this all the way down. Oh. There's some up. This is one of those situations where you do want a flare. That's the whole point. Yeah. We're doing a flare, so this is the end of what an auto rotation it lo uh, looks like. At the end of it, you're going to flare up. So let's do one, let's do one more here. Okay. So come on, about 40. We'll level at 40 knots, 40 feet. Right about, oop, a little high, a little high. Right about there. We're a little slow, but that's okay. Again, in three, two. One, aft cyclic, lower collective, right pedal, and then we forward, raise, back in. yep, because you don't want the helicopter to slip back, if you wait too long, it'll start slipping back and you'll start to settle, and then we just ride this all the way down. Alright, so we're going to get down here, we're going to do max P, but, excuse me. Alright, so we're going to get down to about a 6 inch hover, so I'm going to kind of help stabilize here, but I want collective to be all you, stay on all controls. Alright, so from right here we're going to pull up to max, which we don't have a whole lot, but, so let's get down to like a good 6 inch, actually, you know what, we're going to do this all the way from the ground. From the ground. So, do a pickup and then smoothly keep going. Is that the yes, idea? exactly. So we'll get light on the skids. So let's get. All right, so right about there, we'll neutralize all that, and then from here we're gonna pull all the way up to our max power, which is, today is what? Twenty-three. Twenty-three and a half, five. right? Yeah. All right, so here we go, and pull right there. A little, a little less, a little less. We're up at twenty-five there. All right, there we go. All right, you're clear your obstacles, so give some forward cyclic. Maintain heading with pedals, eyes out front. There we go. And from here, it just becomes a normal, normal takeoff, basically. All right, let's get up over these wires here. So give us a little cyclic climb here. Get it well up above the wires. All right, we're up at 300 feet. All right, now we can get some more forward airspeed. We don't need to have a thousand foot climb rate. Just a just a quick minute there, so we can get up over the wires. And now, now we're off to a normal pattern. All right, you can go left. You're clear left. 
So watch your pitch as you come through here. Try to keep 60 knots, keep your eyes lined up with the screw out on the horizon. We're at 500 feet, that's perfect. We got a 500 foot a minute climb rate, 60 knots, that's perfect. That's right what we should be doing. Climbing for 600, speeding up to 70 as we go into the next turn. We're at 600, so yeah, exactly. Level that off. Continue speeding up to 70 as we enter this next turn. You are clear left, clear center, clear right. Auburn traffic helicopter, 98 Juliet, turning left downwind, 34 Auburn. Look at that, 70 knots, we're at 650. That's within private standards right there. We are a beam, our landing spot. So, lights out, 104, three green. Uh, fuel is looking really good. Carb heat, see if that needs to be adjusted. Carb oh. heat is up. Is it? It might be, it might not be. Get your left hand on it, yep. Oh, you mean all the way up? All the way up. Yeah. So we slowed down a little bit there. I know we had some other stuff going on, so you lost the lost focus a little bit there. We slowed down and climbed. So get us up to 70, and there you go. Okay. Bring it up to 70, that brings us down to 600, right? And we're good. And get a descent going. Get a descent, and you're clear left. And turn. Back to 60 for maneuvering. Yep. 60 and 500. Nice turn. That was a very nice turn. Thank you. You kept us in trim. We didn't. We didn't pitch super down or super up or anything. That was a good turn. All right. Clear right. Clear center. Clear left. Auburn traffic helicopter 98 Juliet turning left base of final 34 Auburn. So it might be a little soon to start turning, but that's okay. You can kind of just extend this, make it just a wide turn. Roll me out right on runway heading. <clears throat> there we go. All right. 50 knots by field boundary. No lower than 300. As soon as we hit field boundary, start slowing down and don't speed up at all. All right, there we go. Pick up that sight picture for a normal approach angle. Remember, don't focus on the windsock. Use your peripherals. Keep your eyes down the runway. Pull some power pull, you feel it's descending, right? We're speeding up now. Everything was solid there, right at the end you started to push forward and that started to descend us, so right here, we can do a little mini quick stop, just a little bit, yeah. kind of flare, and then start pulling power. Bringing it in, bringing it in. All the way. Traffic, like 84209 or coming up a crest. Get a little pattern for uh, Auburn. Let's go do another one. Coming out from Crest, entering the pattern for Auburn. That's real fucking specific, Dillweed. <laughs> Crest is like, yeah, 10 miles that way. All right, make a Auburn traffic helicopter, 98 Juliet on the go, 3-4, left those traffic, Auburn. 
Uh, don't run me into those wires. So it's rule of thumb 300 feet by the wires because those towers are yeah. probably getting up towards 200 foot. Yeah, I'd say those towers are about 150, something like that. Maybe 200, uh, I'd say 150. All right, so watch what we're doing now. Yep. So yeah, so you want to, you want to, you do want to climb a little bit quick at the beginning just to make sure we're clear of the wires. Clear the wires, but then after that. After that, I mean, yeah, you can start your turn, and uh, where are we at? It was 600, so get no higher than this. I'm not gonna try to figure out where this ass wad from fucking Crest is. All right, and you are clear left, clear center, clear right. Auburn traffic helicopter 9 or 8 Juliet, turning left downwind 34 Auburn. All right, 600 feet, we're good. Just speed us up to 70, and there's our numbers. I know I'm getting way ahead of myself here, um, but if you think it appropriate, would you be willing to demo an uh, auto for me? Make it four miles east of the airport can cross midfield. Um, three four at uh, Auburn. Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay. Just want to see what it's like from inside. So I, uh, I'm technically not authorized to be doing autos yet. Oh, okay. Um, but... Uh, lights out. Uh, 104, 3 green. Fuel is good. Carb heat is up. And... Alright, start your descent and the left turn. Make your left base call. Auburn in traffic, helicopter 9 or 8 Juliet, turning left base to final, 3 4, Auburn. Alright, there's that guy. Guy from Crest? Yeah. On, on second thought, I, sh I probably should not do that. Okay, that's cool. I want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to do something in a while, but yeah, it's, it's probably a better idea that we don't do that. Not yet. All right. We will at some point, but yeah, just not quite yet. <clears throat> All right, so we're 60 knots and we're 500, so we're a little bit high, a little bit fast here. So slow us down. Slow us down and bring us Over down. traffic, lake is over midfield. 1500, looking for the helicopter. Over. We're on final, we're gonna be right underneath you. Yeah, we got you now. Go back. All right, so still a little high here, so get me down the wire. Slow me down. We're at 55 knots. Let's get right over the runway. Remember, don't fixate on the on the windsock. Keep your eyes out front. So it's just extend past the windsock. Don't worry about it. Just to make this a nice approach right down to wherever we wherever we make it. All right. So you need to pull some power. Start slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Don't come to a complete stop, but get those vibrations and ride those down. The left pedal. Pull some power. All right, so we go to the blue water take tower. me over here. I'm going to make a right descending turn into a left 45 for a 3 4 Auburn. I'm 
Armor traffic on the cover, 90 Juliet, clear the active. All right. I want you to... I want you to take me down the yellow, down the yellow line. Just straight Ooh, down the yellow line. Got it. So all three controls, it's all you. Armor traffic, lakes on a 45, 3 4 off. Be careful of this guy here. Yeah. Traffic lights turning down wind, three four other. Gotta cure that up and down oscillation. So a little bit of that is collected, but some of it is also cyclic. Yeah. You know, as soon as you pull back on cyclic we start to climb. Over traffic, lakes turning left base, 3-4 over. Over traffic, lakes turning final, 3 4, full stop, over. Alright, so let's bring that one in. I don't know if you know, but until right now, I didn't touch shit. That was all you all the way down. Okay. I'll take that for starters. Needs some work, but... Yeah, it definitely needs some work, but that's... That's what we're here for. My... What I'm looking at is the fact that there's been progress. Yeah. That is a weird looking plane. I've never seen one like that before. That's... That's what I'm... That's what I'm happy about. So bring us, uh... Spring us right out into the middle. Let's get a nice good hovering session. We'll get one last one before we head out. Okay. Yeah, turned around here. Hovering traffic, Mooney 5, two vectors. Yeah, no, like I said, the, okay. the fact that there's progress. You're making progress, you're getting better. I mean, it may be slow, but you are making progress. That's what I'm looking at. That's, that's awesome. That's hey. something to be happy about. Shake it off and get all chill. Yep. All you need is relax. That's the ground. Auburn traffic, not, the lake is not reactive that much. <laughs> So again, remember, don't don't think about it. You know what you want to do. Your brain knows what you want to do. You want to stay over this spot right here and aim right at the windsock. So just just let your body do it. Get away from the uh, sign. Get away from the lights. Yep. Real quick, stay on with me. 
Uh, so that windsock is what I'm pointing at. That's where I wanna. That's where I wanna stay, right? So just, just kind of feel, feel all the controls, feel all the inputs here, like real, real swamp. Still doing a little bit of dance on the big pipe, but I'm laser focused on that, on that windsock, right? Like everything. I nope. Don't let it left turn. Don't let it right turn. Little left, little right. Just keeping it there. All real, real small. Barely doing anything. Collective's not even moving. Don't really have to do much with the collective as long as my cyclic stays pretty neutral, right? Right. Just boom, right there. There's a little bit of up and down, a little bit of left and right, but just barely anything. All real, real, real small. Catch that. I know you can do it. There you go. Bring the nose around. Laser focused on that windsock. Keep us right pointed at it. Catch that, catch that, stop us. Over traffic, Moody Pike, Victor, set the blue water tank, train on 45, left down wind 34, up. Left pedal turn, bring me back over there. Oh, you know what? Here, real quick, I got the controls. We're traffic coming up to 4 kilo, left crosswind, and for 3, 4, 45 traffic. All right, just the pedals. So you want me to go on in front of you there? Or you I want you to give me a 360 degree turn we'll slowly. Okay, thanks. Left or right? Go left. Are you ready? Yep. Five slow, go. How about glad we have hope stop for a girl that's down way to allow a three four one back. Harbor traffic twenty five two pictures train left down went over one six seven. Three four Robert. All the way, keep coming, keep coming, a little more. All right, now one to the right. Upper traffic, Moody 5 to Victor, train left base, 3-4 upper. got pedal control. We came all the way down the lines early, you came around the yellow line, you just did a clearing turn to each side, you did it slow and controlled. We know you know how to do the pedal, so you don't need to think about it. Right. So hover me and keep me over this one spot, aimed right at right at the wind side. Don't think about anything, just move. Just react, just do what your body knows. Let your body do what it knows how to do. You just think, I want to stay right here. Neutralize that. There. That's what we're looking for. Neutralize that drift. As soon as, as soon as we're drifting one direction or the other, neutralize it. Bring us back to center. Too much. We're about done on time. Okay. He's on final. We're just gonna get out here real quick. Harbor traffic on 982 taking the active 34 departure to the north. Harbor. All right. We'll just kind of head off down that way. So we definitely Jeez. don't want to overfly him. Yeah, he'll be out of the he'll way. He'll be out of the way. But if he weren't, we'd like just go off towards the just left. Veer off a little bit, yeah. Yeah. We're a helicopter. We can move. We're a helicopter. We can do whatever we want. Yep. Dude, everything's looking really good today, man. Uh, you yeah, were no, I was feeling. I was feeling like it was more of an odd day than an off day. Yeah, absolutely was. Absolutely was.
And the more we practice, the more on days you'll have. Yeah. All right, so catch that. You're slowing down, speeding up, or slowing down, climbing. Yep, just get us some speed. Get us up to 70 knots. A little high on our power setting there. 70 knots, back off on the power a little bit. Yep, we're already up to 700 feet, so we got plenty of power. Okay, lights out, 104, three green. Carpet up. And plenty of fuel to make it back. Yep. Plus 20 minute reserve. Yep, we'll be perfect. I saw a, a video, it was like a minute long, it was like an excerpt from an NTSB and I, I'm pretty sure it was an A-star it lifted off and started spinning oh, shit. around. And I'm wondering if, because I know that the A-Stars, the rotor blade goes the other way. So yeah. if you pull in power, you have to do right pedal. Correct. And I'm just wondering if the pilot got his wires crossed. I wouldn't be surprised. Tried to correct, and it's like, oh shit, tried to correct some more and some more. And what happened? Did he end up spinning and hitting the ground? Uh, he just came. Went over, went down in a parking lot. Oh shit! Almost right on top of an RV. Oh wow! And then, and then there was a fire. Yeah, so it, uh, it didn't look good. They they didn't say if injuries or whatever, but um, I wouldn't want to be in there. No, fuck no. Yeah, that's definitely something that you got to get used to when you start flying either Eurocopter or A Star. Yeah, you got yeah. yeah. opposite yeah. pedals. Experimental 7977 top stage 5 in Northwest. The inbound for left 45 entry left traffic. Three Holland Bus and Able Powerful Pilot Kid all left down window, long left 3 pole. Aba. Okay, switches to yep. Akers. Then you can go ahead and get Adis in the backup. So we're going to end up doing a straight in. Uh, okay. yes, that's correct. So you get one, one more, one more extra approach. Yep. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 719 or 8 Juliet, northbound crossing I-167, 700 feet, Long Acres. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 98 Juliet, Sonos Piles, northbound, Long Acres. Go ahead and swap over, let's get our ATIS. Go 
left approach in use, landing in the parting runway 31 left and 31 right. ILS runway 31 left, flight path unusable, beyond 7 nautical miles. Aircraft landing runway 31 right, fly the BAPI. If aircraft get direction of flight, all aircraft read back, hold short instructions. Advise on this contact, you have information. What did he, information what? Like it got crackly, I guess. Well, information uniform, one uniform, okay. three Zulu. Wind variable at three, visibility one zero. All right, so Feeling two zero. Swap us, get us uh, back up on Boeing there. There we go, all right, don't switch over yet, stay on Long Acres. We're, uh, okay, uh, uniform. Yep, uniform. So, don't make a call yet. Wait, wait, wait. we want to get past, um, pad 1.5. Yeah, exactly. So, you want to go in there real quick? Pad 1.5? Yeah. Sure. All right, so bring me over to the left here along the railroad tracks and bring me down. So I'm going to kind of help you out here just so we can get down quick. Stay on. Stay on the controls. So we're going to slow down to 50 knots and 500 feet. Well, your traffic, I'll look up to 9-8 Julia, maneuvering for uh, pad 1.5. Alright, so there's 500, let's keep slowing us. Hey, stay on, stay on, the, stay on the controls with me. I want you to feel feel what I'm doing here. So we're going to do our high recon, 50 knots and 500 feet. Got a little low there. Climb us back up. So what we're doing with high recon is we're looking at the spot. We're looking for our way in, we're looking for our way out. Are there any wires? Is there anything down there? Is there too many trees? Is there anything that's going to be in the way, essentially? Yeah. Anything that's going to keep us from safely landing there? So you always want to keep the spot on your side, you the pilot, so it's easier for you to see. And so you're looking, okay, all right, it uh, looks clear, all right, I think we can get in there. Okay, so then we basically turn this into a normal pattern. So now we're doing our downwind. Well, we a small one. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we'll call this our downwind. And then we're gonna turn base. Gonna turn base. And then when we do when we do an approach like this, we're doing a steep approach, so we want to slow down early. Yeah, right. So we still want to keep ETL, but we want to slow down. So stay on with me, feel everything I'm doing. Sure. So we're kind of starting to slow down here, and now we can start to shoot our steep approach. So steep approach, we wanna Make sure we don't get settled in with power, so I want to pull some yeah, power in here. If you settle with power, you'll settle right into our tree. Right, and you're, you're completely fucked at that point. So I've got a 100 foot a minute descent rate. Keep your hand, keep your hand on. 100 foot, descent, um, 100 foot a minute descent rate. 1, 200 is good. And we've kind of, kind of lost ETL, but we're still feeling the vibrations a little bit. So we'll just keep on coming down. And we're going to go to the front of this little green section right here. So there we go. Still got the, still got the vibrations. We're teeter teetering on the edge of loss of ETL. We got 100 foot a minute, 200 foot a minute though, so we're not worried about settling with power. Yep. And we just keep this coming down. So you're almost doing that uh, Jurassic Park descent. Yeah. Not yeah. quite straight down, but. Right, not exactly straight down. It's still a steep approach. And then we can come right on in. And we know it's behind us because we just flew over it, so we know we're not going to hit our tail rotor. We can scoot a little left, make sure we're not going to hit any trees with the main rotor. And we just bring this right on down to a nice, soft, cushy landing in the grass. There we go. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so rule of thumb with a max P. If your rotor tip path is clear of it, you should be able to clear it. So those trees over there, you see our rotor tip path is below them? Yeah. So if we tried to max P over that, we wouldn't do it. But the trees right in front of us, you can see our rotor tip path is... Oh, you mean we're on the ground, the rotor... Oh, yeah, Correct. got you. Correct. Got you. So you can see our rotor tip path, it's clear of those trees by a good couple inches, right? So, yeah. we, so we can clear those trees. All right, so stay on with me, we're going to do a max P on out of here. All right. So we're just about light on the skids. All right, right, uh, all right, there we go. All right, guys, so, so from here, we're going to pull all the way up to 23 and a half. So yep. stay on with me. Here we go, one, two, three. All right, now we can start milking it forward just a little bit, get us some airspeed. Then we can get a little cyclic climb going here. 
Hello. Coming out of pad 1.5, 9198 Juliet. I keep forgetting to make that call on the way, uh, on the way before we uh, pick up. I did that yesterday too. I gotta, I gotta remember to make that call. All right, and there we go. We got our airspeed, and away we go. That is so awesome. All right, controls are all you. Okay. Stay on the right side of the railroad tracks. Make our call into Boeing and get us on in there. Uniform, right? Yep. Okay. Boeing Tower, Scott, 7267 Golf at 31 right. We're ready to go northbound departure. Cessna 7267 Golf Boeing Tower, runway 31 right. Clip takeoff, straight out departure first. 67 Golf, 31 right, straight out approved. Boeing Tower, helicopter 719er 8 Juliet, Long Acres, uh, inbound for H&W ramp, Rainier arrival with uniform. Hotel Pier 719er 8 Juliet, Boeing Tower, Rainier arrival, group at 5. Nine or eight, Juliet approved. All right, so we uh, that put us a little uh, a little late on time. So give us some speed here, get us up to eighty, and bring us up over the hill. I like um, once we've done a couple of you know uh, uh, max P's and um, steep approaches. I like to bring a student in there so you see, really get an idea of why why we do it the way we do it. Yeah. Why why a steep approach is important to do it slow. Why a max P is the way it is and why you don't you know you don't want any okay. forward air speed at first. There's an obstacle there. You got to get up. So once you kind of you know you see some of the, something like that, you get a really good visual for how the whole thing works. It's just and, and it's fun. Well, like if you're a an airlift northwest, Boeing Tower Ops Eight. They're gonna have to do that kind of stuff all the time. Three yeah. one right. Exactly. Ops Eight Boeing Tower proceed south on the runway three one right. Ops Eight Boeing Tower proceed south on the runway three one right. The breeze through your window there feels nice. Yeah, I know, yeah, no, right? Did you want to continue straight Keep out? Keep us from boiling inside this north. thing. Uh, I'm on course if I can go straight this way. So six, seven, go, Roger. Careful on the descent here. Boeing Tower Helicopter 98 Juliet, South Wires. Helicopter 98 Juliet, Pad 5, proceed as requested. 98 Juliet. Okay, so I want to start right, coming so, down. Yep, so come, coming down, follow the freeway. Right where the freeway bends and there's that metal sign, that's where we Boeing scoot down. over. Straight off of 31 right at Alpha 8, pushing to go. Alpha 8, good. All right, so definitely start getting us some descent. Get us back to maneuvering speeds. Yep. Not 300 feet, looking good. And right over to the taxiway. So we're slowing down there, but you don't have enough collective, so we're leveling out. Yeah.
All right, pull some power. There we go. All right, bring us over there. I'll take it back into the last. Oh. I uh, stopped us a little too soon. A little bit, it's okay. Approach was pretty good though, so not gonna complain about it. All right, and I'll bring us on over and set us down. All right, I'm off. Cessna 756 Alpha Whiskey Boing Tower, only 31 miles south of Matter Cliff takeoff. Straight up, departure proof. Not a pretty set down. What was that? Boeing tires, that's a 70528 Alpha over Kent. Descending 1,900 inbound for close traffic with Victor. That's a 70528 Alpha. Right, Boeing straight in, going right. 3 1 right. Report to 3 mile final. Straight in for 3 1 right. Report 3 mile final. 70528 Alpha. Pedals neutral. Okay. Got a minute before it gets down. I think we can. Yeah, we can definitely shut those fuckers shut those off. Guys up. Car beat out of there too. Oh yeah, that'll help help us cool down a little quicker. We're almost yeah, there. We're pretty so. close in already, but okay. So I'll start. Uh, I'll start 90 seconds at the nine. 90 seconds. Well, a minute. So minute. Oh, you're saying that's where you started it? Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it's that's where I'm starting it right now. So we don't need another 90 seconds. We've oh, already okay. Minute and a half starts as soon as we start rolling it down. Okay. So basically, we're looking for a minute and a half or 275, which is right over the H. So I would give it another. Let it come around to the six. All right. Once it comes around to the six, we should be good. Roll and then it we back, can... pop the clutch. Yep. Then we'll roll it all the way down. All right, there we go. Now you should be rolled over. Yeah, roll all the way down. So pop the clutch on the seven. So when we get back around to the one, we'll shut it. So on the twelve, start your slow start pull on the mixture. Yep. yep. And then by the one, we'll be off.
Mm, next one. Yep. Good enough for government work. Yep. Strobe stays on. You want to leave the key in or? Uh, yeah, actually, they're about oh, to fly okay. right now. Okay, got it. Then we'll get it. We'll get my butt out of here. Do you have the book on your side or do I take it? Uh, yeah, I think it works. might be. <clears throat> nope, it's on my side. Cool. You want it in there or? Uh, no, we'll take it. <clears throat> we'll take it with us. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we get. Um, 5669 5669 six, six,